Our story today is called All Kinds of Families, and it's by Marianne Hoberman. Families, families, all kinds of families. Families are people and animals too, but all sorts of other things fit into families. Look all around and you'll see what they do. A knife and a fork and a spoon are a family. The stars and the moon and the sun are a family. The socks in the drawer and the rocks on the shore and the blocks on the floor, they can all become families. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons, or rings, you can make families from all sorts of things. As soon as you're born, you're part of a family. As soon as you're born, you're a daughter or son. As soon as you're born, your family gets bigger. As soon as you're born, it's bigger by one. Eggs in a carton can seem like a family. So can a loaf with its slices of bread. Celery stalks or a big bunch of carrots, they sleep in the fridge with a drawer for a bed. What other things can you find to make families? Thimbles and marbles and card decks and jacks, ribbons and bobby pins, hair clips and thimbles, pencils and rulers and crayons and tacks, bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons or rings. You can make families from all sorts of things. Clams in the sea make a clamity family. Lambs in the field make a lamity family. Jams in their jars make a jamily family. And yams in the cupboard make a jamily, make a yamily family. Out in the yard, you'll find dry twigs and branches, horse chestnuts, bar berries, acorns, and cones. Down at the beach, you'll find pebbles and seashells, soft colored beach glass, and ocean smooth stones. A saucer and cup can be brother and sister. A comb and a brush can be husband and wife. A plate and a bowl can be a Mrs. and Mr. And so can the spoon or the fork or the knife. Your hand is a family, a family of fingers. Your foot is a family, a family of toes. And as you get older, each family gets older. And as you keep growing, each family grows. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons, or rings, you can make families from all sorts of things. If you're the first baby born to your mother, your mother's a mother because you are here. If you are the first baby born to your father, your father's a father because you appear. If you're the second one born in your family, someone is a brother because you arrive, or someone's a sister and you are a sister or brother the moment that you are alive. You can make families from clay or from Play-Doh. You can make families from mud or from snow. You can make families from paper or cardboard, make them from sticks or balloons that you blow. Spoons are a family and tools are a family and chalks for the blackboard at school are a family. Six slices of cheese or a pod full of peas or a key ring with keys, they can all become families. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons, or rings, you can make families from all sorts of things. As soon as you're born, you might make a new grandma, or maybe a grandpa, that's what you might do. Or might make a cousin, you might be a cousin. An uncle or aunt might be made just by you. Pens full of bright colored ink are a family. Toothbrushes over the sink are a family. Even the thoughts that you think are a family. Light as a feather living together. Inside of your mind, what else can you find? You might say that numbers belong in a family, or alphabet letters, or notes in the scale, or colors in rainbows, the words in a language, the keys on a piano, or stamps in the mail. Inside or outside, in summer or winter, you can find families for so many games. Families to play with, spend most of the day with, telling them stories and giving them names. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons, or rings, you can make families from all sorts of things. Make believe families and families of people, families of people from long and long ago, families like stepping stones crossing the water, leading to now and the families you know. Everyone comes from a number of families. When you look backward, it looks like a tree. People from families make other new families. The more you go back, the more people you see. Play families, real families, all kinds of families. Think of the families, the ones that you're from. Someday you'll grow up and you'll have a new family and you'll be the family of families to come. And that is the end of the story. At the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, you'll find all kinds of families. Some families have two moms. Some families have two dads. Some families have a mom, a dad, and another dad, or two moms and a dad. Some families have adopted children. Some families have grandparents raising children. Some families have aunts and uncles raising children. Some families have uh, just a dog or a cat as part of their family and not have young children in their family. 
So families look really different and all are wonderful and all are accepted and beautiful.